We've been looking forward to this day, I think, for a long time. Uh, Northland Village Church wrote a grant about maybe even almost a year ago now to put on this art walk and has been working for, for about six months um, towards this day. Uh, the idea that we came up with is to get different people from different backgrounds together to share their stories through their art as we find story very essential uh, to, to what we do at Northland Village Church. So here we are. Uh, there's 50 pieces of art on the walls, there's bands playing, and, and the, the craziness is happening. I think, I think we're well over 100 people, maybe 150 people have participated in, in making this happen, especially when you throw the artists in there. There are five local businesses that have partnered with Northland Village Church, and we're showing art in each of those spaces. Two of the spaces are kids' art. One is young kids' art, one is older kids' art. All the photography is over at Colby. All the music and sculptures are over at Revo, and lots of the visual art is right here at 55 Degree Wine. And just people in this community are amazing. They hear about art and, and they want to be a part of art and what people are doing and what people are creating. And so it was real simple. It was just over a couple of coffee conversations and um, people were excited about the idea. Uh, my name is Suzanne Krauss. I am at the Atwater Art Walk. I started a piece a couple years ago and it slowly evolved into what finished uh, about a week ago. So Atwater hasn't had an art walk before, I guess talking to some locals and they said that, uh, that they didn't even know about it so I guess getting the word out would be ideal for next year. Alright so my name is Andy and uh, my last name is Hasroon. I am the uh, founder and uh, the uh, person that put 55 degree together and uh, been here since uh, 2008. I've been here for about three years and a few months and um, uh, we offer lots of different wines. We have uh, mainly wines from Italy. We do a lot of Portuguese, we do a lot of Spanish, uh, but our specialty pretty much is uh, Italian beers, uh, Italian wines, I'm sorry. But we do also have uh, 950 different beers from all over the world. My favorite is right behind you, right there. I love uh, the beauty of uh, women. I mean, you know, that's, that's what I like, but uh, I wish she was here. That would have been uh, even better. <laughs> but anyways, uh, this is a beautiful piece. It's got, you know, it's, uh, I, that's, that I would vote for that. My name is Melissa Polinar, and I'm here at between the Revo Cafe and Subway for the Atwater um, Art Walk. For the people around here. Um, well, I started playing guitar about like a little over 10 years now. Um, I've been singing all my life, but um, it wasn't until um, I would say a good eight years that I started um, doing this professionally and uh, seriously, I guess, songwriting and playing and singing. So you can check me out at melissapolinar.com, M E L I S S A P O L I N A R. No strings, just living alone and free. So happy, there's nothing I really need. Ever since you came around, I can finally be anyone but me. We are doing the Atwater Art Crawl, um, put on by Northline Village Church and uh, supported by a lot of different businesses. And the 
out what her name of the council, which is what I am not sure. The art crawl is all about my story and your story and our story and, and storytelling and you know, sort of finding those common grounds. So um, we're looking at whether or not the, the story that was written as a part of the piece um, is compelling to us and, um, you know, sort of illuminates the piece of art. And so that's what I'm doing. I'm reading, I'm reading the words first and then Rowan kind of looking at the piece of art and seeing if they sort of um, complement each other and make sense and look compelling to me. Um, it's nice to see people opening themselves up. You know, you often see a piece of art on a wall and you don't really know why it came into existence. What's interesting about this art wall is that you actually get to read the story behind the piece of art. So that's been exciting. Uh, well, my name's Bo. And we are at 55 Degree Wine. My friend Carrie and I uh, have been performing together for a couple years now. So we're going to do a set in a little bit. Um, it's going to be epic. They're going to have to raffle off like my picks and stuff. No, I'm just kidding. My story with music is I just, you know, I've been playing for a while. I kind of play anywhere and everywhere that I can. Um, whether that's like at weddings or, you know, big college venues and pretty much anything in between, including art festivals and that sort of stuff. Uh, my name is Carlos Nieto III. I live out here in Atwater Village. Uh, I've been an artist all my life. I work with kids at a hospital. I meet people from all different walks of life, different cultures, and it's kind of inspired me over the years. And so, uh, so I try to incorporate different cultural aspects into my, into my artwork. This piece here is a uh, He's a model friend of mine, and uh, I just wanted to incorporate a little more of the Middle Eastern influence and uh, Asian influence into uh, to more of a kind of classical type of uh, classical type of romantic uh, figurative painting. Uh, tonight's the Atwater, the first annual uh, Atwater Art Walk, and it's been a night of a whole bunch of artists, live musicians, just a lot of great community events just kind of coming together uh, for, for a night just celebrating art. We wanted to just do an event that was really present in the city and really part of the community, and uh, we thought a great way to have that happen would be to do an art event. Um, the fun thing about art is that it doesn't matter what your background is, there is a an idea of what art is going to be and what it's going to look like, and uh, where no matter where you are. And the great part about this event is more to have them those those different paradigms come crashing into each other. So our whole theme this year is your story, my story, and our story. And it, it's been it's been a great night. I'm here to perform tonight, uh, playing a, a late set, I believe. Um, I. I'm like most people in LA, singer-songwriter type of guy. Um, I write a lot of songs, you know, from the heart, which I'm sure everybody writes their songs from that same place. But um, um, yeah, I play guitar, sing, and uh, you know, write songs about my fiance or whatever. You know. We are at the Atwater Art Walk and just enjoying some amazing, awesome pieces of art. I've been really moved and inspired today. Judging tonight. I was looking for the story behind the art. Was the story compelling? Did it work together with the art piece? Did it bring a sense of wonder? Um, it was actually a really, really tough job because there's just so many amazing pieces. Let's go break some hearts. For all the artists who submitted your amazing work, thank you so much. That's what set this apart. This was very tough. There was a lot of great, amazing artwork. So first, I mean, to all of you who, who submitted, this was absolutely terrible for us to debate um, up at, up top. And we've been going back and forth for about 25 minutes. We got minutes. into a fight. Yeah, uh, only minor bruised ribs. Uh, first uh, award that we're going to give away uh, tonight is the is the best, um, the voter, voter registered best uh, from the attendees. And that goes to Elizabeth Bell for Tata. So, come on up, we got a check for you. Congratulations, thank you so much. Thank you very much, that was really great. There you go. Over, over, we figured about 200 votes tonight, so that's, that's pretty fantastic. So, well done, well done. Okay, next up would be the second prize. Okay, and we fought over this. Fought. For, 
Yeah, yeah. that's where the bruised ribs came in. Yeah. Um, and the second prize, do you want to go? You no, just, no. You've been so good yeah. at it. Second prize goes to Miss Suzanne Krause. Her piece is called The Confusion of One's Own Brain. It's right up on the uh, stairs. Congratulations. All right, now for the for the the big stuff, right? The drum roll. If I can get the Chevy Chase drum roll. Okay, the grand prize winner, who will get one thousand dollars, is Catherine Benso with oh, wow. Union. Finding out who the person is underneath all of those masks. 